Hi, Jacob here with the Nature Conservancy of Canada, and today we're going to show you how to control invasive common buckthorn. Common buckthorn, also known as European buckthorn, is a shade and drought tolerant species that outcompetes native plants, reducing important food and shelter needed by wildlife. It thrives along roadsides, woodland edges, and abandoned fields, and can be found invading the forests of southern Ontario. Buckthorn is a woody plant that can look like a shrub or a small tree, growing up to seven meters tall. Small, thorn-like tips are often located at the end of each branch, while the leaves have finely toothed edges and curved, prominent veins. By August, black fruits form in dense clusters along the branches of female trees, often remaining on the plant well into winter. To help identify buckthorn, head out in the fall, as buckthorn leaves will be green when most other plants will have either changed color or dropped their leaves entirely, making them very easy to spot. Chris and Jordan from NCC's Invasive Species Team are going to demonstrate how to control buckthorn at various stages of growth. There's some buckthorn right here. Oh yeah, lots of berries on this one. Because this plant is so thorny, it is recommended that long sleeve shirts, work gloves, and safety glasses are worn during control. If you're working in the fall after berries have formed, it's a good idea to collect and dispose of them before you remove the plants. This may not be practical if you're dealing with lots of large plants. Just be prepared to keep an eye out for seedlings that sprout at the control site in subsequent years. Once the berries are removed, it's time to tackle the buckthorn tree itself. So for a buckthorn tree of this size, what we're going to do is girdle it. Girdling prevents the tree from transferring nutrients to the leaves and back down again to the roots. Before you start to girdle the tree, you're going to want to remove any branches or obstacles that are in your way where you're going to be cutting. To girdle the tree effectively, you're going to want to use a saw. You can use a chainsaw or a handsaw, it either works. And you're going to make two incisions around the entire tree through the bark and the cambium down to the heartwood. And then you're going to drop down another couple of inches, make your second incision, and then peel the bark between your two incisions. Simply cutting down a buckthorn will cause the stump to re-sprout. Girdling will reduce re-sprouting while also killing the tree. Caution should be taken when girdling, as standing dead trees can be hazardous. So you can see here, we've peeled back the bark on the tree here, and the orange layer here is the cambium. You want to remove that entirely around the base of the tree for girdling. It'll take about a year or two for this tree to fully die out. Lots of small buckthorn plants here. Oh yeah, there's lots of them here. Unlike large buckthorn trees, small plants can be easily pulled from the soil. To remove small buckthorn plants, you can either hand pull or use a device as a trowel or a shovel to help remove the roots. So here's a small buckthorn plant. You can just loosen the soil and then you remove the plant. You want to ensure to remove the whole root system as it could re-sprout in the future. So it's easiest to remove buckthorn after a period of rain as it loosens the soil. There's no need to bag or remove buckthorn from the forest. Just place the plants in a spot where the roots can't reach the ground, and they'll dry out and die. While hand pulling and girdling can help control small populations of common buckthorn, for large infestations, herbicides may be necessary. Visit the Ontario Invasive Plant Council website for more information on chemical control options. Anyone using a herbicide is responsible for complying with all federal and provincial legislation. Once control is complete, you may wish to perform some simple restoration on the control site, such as planting native species. This will help native plants get established faster than buckthorn seedlings. 
Keep in mind, control sites should be monitored for a couple of years for buckthorn seedling regrowth. Thanks for watching, and thank you for helping control invasive buckthorn.